So the first thing that you want to do is open up your DAW or DAW, your you know music software. I use Waveform 11, and it's this. And everything that you need to download would be in the in the description. So happy days. And what you want to do is you want to well make your sounds for your sound font. So give me one second. So here's your sound. This is one of the sounds that I've made in my sound font. So this is the 23rd sound. It's C3. Like that. So what you'd want to do is once you've got a sound or you've recorded a sound, you want to make sure it's actually in pitch. So I have a plugin in the description and it's called uh, Melda Production. And what you want to do is go all the way down Auto Pitch. And here it is. This is auto pitch. And I want to make sure it's C. So you want to deselect all of these keys and make sure it's C. So now it's 100% definitely C. Like, yeah, I use this auto tune thing to, to like make sure that my notes are on pitch, on everything, you know. So it's not all wonky and out of tune. So if you want to make it really like auto tuned, no. But then you'd want to export it, and this is the fun part because you have to organize stuff. So what you want to do is click the arrow down here, this arrow, file, export, render to file. And you want to select WAV because it, it just works better when it's a WAV file. And so you want to obviously export it to a file, you know, it's here. And you want to name it like either, if, if it's your first note, you want to go like 000, you know, 000. And then let's say that's C3. So my first note starts on C3. And then what you'd want to do is do a different note. So you don't just want it to be but different pitches, do you? You want it you want it differently. So you know you wanna record a different one. So here we are, we've got a different one. Oh that's oh it's okay, so you wanna make sure that your auto tune is right. So if I don't have it on, it's you know, it's it's right. And to make sure that it's right, you go here and go E. Make sure it's right. Perfect, right? There we go. Then you want to export that again to for the video. <laughs> but you want to name it. So let's say this is our second note. It's not because it, it doesn't go from C to E, but you know, it's, it's one and then E, three. Yeah, you get the thing. It goes like that. Let's say you can't sing the entire range like this. Like, you know, you don't have all the notes like... You know, you, you know, you, you don't want to sing all the notes. So let's say you have the two. You have the two in here. So you've got... You know. If that's the only one that you want to sing for the day or anything, you could you could just do this because waveform has a great thing, and yet you know that these are on pitch. You can just put a pitch shifter in here. So you'd want to go to where is it? Waveform effects, and then pitch shifter. Now we know that this is C3. We know that this is C3. But we have nothing to get to E with it, you know? So if we go from straight from C to E, we're missing three semitones. So we got this pitch shifter. And what you want to do is switch it from Pro to the bottom option here. And then Settings, and then Preserve that. So it should just be like that and that. You don't have to worry about these. But, you know, then if we wanted to go higher by one, we just go plus one. And now it should be C3. 
C-sharp. You know? It's C-sharp. And then, you know, you'd render. Render it to the video. And then you could do... You could do this. This this would be... Let me just rename this. You know, that would be 5. And then this would be 0, zero 1. C sharp 3. And now, got a little thing going. You know? And then, you know, you just keep doing that. You can, you can make an entire sound font with two notes that you've sung. So once you've got that, and you've got these three, what you'd want to do is exit out of, well, everything, and then go to Polyphone. So, what you'd want to do is click New sound font. You could give it a title. And then with your samples here. Now you think, what are the samples? The samples are the sounds that you've just done. So what you want to do is click the little squiggly line here that says add a sample. Then you'd want to go to the ones that you did. You want to go, you want to select all of them, open. Now, let's say that you had five notes that you wanted to do. It would appear that you've got 10 things in it because it's a left and a right channel. Now this part gets a little bit tedious. You know, it gets a little bit tedious because you've got to redo everything. So you know how it's C and then this is C sharp. Let's say that 60 is the right C because it's MIDI numbers. I'll put something on the screen right now and it'll teach you where every C is and then you can just figure it out from there. But let's say 60 is C3. You know, you need to check both of these are C3 and then C sharp, all you wanna do is go 61. Now it's C sharp. And then you wanna do that with both the files, both the numbers here, you know, 61. And then this one, so this one would be 64. E, you know, you, you get it, you get it. Then what you'd want to do is select, oh god, you need want to select all of these and then make instrument, which is this one, or add an instrument, and you want to call it what you want it, you know, for the video. So once these are done, you'd see that it has the keys that you assigned it under it. You want to do those keys that you've done over it here. So you want to do 60, tab, 60, tab, 61. You, you know, you get it. And sometimes it'll allow you, sometimes it won't. If you click this keyboard up here, you can preview it, and it'll come up with a keyboard, and you can click the keys, but it doesn't want to for me today. Oh, I forgot to mention that when you're doing this part of it, you want to make sure that when you click this, you want it to be the full black line, so it doesn't loop weird if you've done it too short. Uh, and once you've done that, you want to click this, and then you want to click this music symbol. And I don't know the actual name for it, but there is a name for it, you know, music nerds, write in the comments. Uh, you want to do add a preset. And for the video, yep, it's this. And then, now you'd be able to, no, okay. Basically then, once you've got the preset done, you'd want to save as and I have a bunch of these but for the video it would be fine now you want to open up waveform again and you want to install this program right here it's called uh, it's called this SF or Zando S for Zando you know and with here what you want to do is you want to go into wherever you saved your sound font. Wherever you saved your sound font. Uh, so mine would be music stuff here. So it says for the video, you just want to drag drop it in. And boom. You have... Obviously, you'd want to either record or pitch shift so you have more notes 
but you could do anything. You know how to make sound fonts now. <laughs> uh, everything that you need to download is in the description. I've made an absolutely horrible tutorial. Thank you for watching.